welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful December. Today is currently December 22nd, but hopefully this video will be up before either today or tomorrow. So you will definitely see it before Christmas. In this video, I'm going to be showing you Aubrey's five outfits for Spirit Week at her local preschool. We loved these themes and we had so much fun dressing her up every single day. So as you can tell, Monday was pajama day. So her bottoms came from Walmart. It was a um, pajama set. I just changed out the shirt for this one um, from Target. I'm pretty sure it was from Target. And then the bow is from one of our local boutiques. I love that bow because it has the little bells on it and it's so cute. And that was her Monday outfit. It was super comfortable for her and she just looked so cute. And there were other children in the class who had those Walmart bottoms or Walmart pajama sets. But she was different because she I changed out the top. And you can do that. It's super simple. I mean, just pair it with any matching top. And that way your child won't match any other child in the preschool. As you can see, Aubrey's little cousin, her name is McKinley. She had matching bottoms with Aubrey. And they look so cute together. They love each other so much. Tuesday was crazy hair day, so she just has this cute Christmas outfit, and for her crazy hair, we put a ton of little bows in her hair. They're like Christmas um, wrapping bows. I'm pretty sure I got a little clip of a close-up on her hair, but with a toddler, it was extremely hard to do. But here's her outfit. And a little tip while I have a second um, for weeks like this, well, I pretty much do this every week. I choose Aubrey's outfits on Sunday and hang them all up on her window, um, like the shades, so that in the mornings when we're in a rush, because she wakes up at 7.30, we have to leave by 8, I just take down the outfit and put it on her. I don't have to go digging through her closet, try to remember what theme was that day, or anything like that. I just take the hanger, it already has her bows for the days, all of her accessories, um, just hanging up on that hanger, and it makes it really, really easy for me. As you can see here, I am just doing her hair. It is a struggle to do a toddler's hair. She hates it so much. Um, but today she worked with me pretty well. And I got to put the bows in without any struggle. And she loved the bows. Unfortunately, by the end of the day, she took out most of them and tore them apart. But for a good half of the day, she looked really, really cute with her hair all done up. Now this outfit, I can't really tell you where it came from because I got it from a local consignment shop. I got it for about $4.50 which is a great deal. Her other Christmas outfits cost a lot more than that. But this was only $4.50 for this cute little red and green polka dotted top. And the pants came with it as well. So I suggest if you were on a budget like I am, um, and I will talk about more about my budget coming up in January. but. Um, I love shopping at our local consignment shop to get cute little outfits without breaking the bank, especially around the holiday season. Just a little close-up of the bows. I just scattered them all across her hair to make it look a little crazy and I also used hairspray. Now Wednesday I didn't get the film um, us actually getting ready but Wednesday was Frozen Day so as you can guess Frozen is a movie that most toddlers love. Aubrey is obsessed with it. It plays non-stop in my car um, but she got to dress up like Elsa so this is her. It was extremely hard to get a video of her wearing that dress. <laughs> this was before we even left the house and she was already getting dirty. But she just has her cute little frozen dress on that her grandma got her. I think she got it from Belks. And then a matching bow from a local boutique. And there is Bella. That's our pig. Our new potbelly pig. Here's a little better view of her Elsa dress. We love that dress. It's so 
cute and soft on her. But this is her walking into school. <laughs> and she had already messed up her hair before we even got to school. Thursday was candy cane day and it was so hard to find a candy cane outfit. I could not find anything with candy canes on it. So I went with this cute little red dress that is actually her Sunday um, before Christmas dress. So this is a good little idea of a church outfit for a child. But it's just a red and white dress and she is wearing matching red and white leggings underneath so she can stay warm. With last but definitely not least is Friday. So Friday's outfit was just festive. Um, so she just had the dress very festive for the Christmas season. So she's wearing this um, reindeer top and this whole outfit is from Belks except for the skirt. It came with another outfit from Carter's. So it's just a reindeer gray top with red sparkly leggings and the Carter skirt. This is her just getting dressed and how much of a struggle it can be sometimes. She kept wiggling and just did not want to work with me that day. Um, she was kind of whining. I don't know if you could tell, but she's a little fussy, but that was okay. We got it done. Um, w once she was dressed and she had the skirt on, she had a lot of fun with it. Um, you'll see that in just a second. She kept pulling up her shirt and stuff. <laughs> she was being really silly. But we did get her dressed and her outfit ready. And her hair done. <laughs> this is her being silly. She likes to run from me when I do her hair. Do any of your toddlers do that? Like just run from you constantly when you're trying to get them ready? I feel like first thing in the morning it's just a chase. Chasing the toddler. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video, and if you did, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. I love the support, and also leave a comment down below. That way we can be a little community down there. I've been really wanting to start up a little conversation down in the comments below. So make sure you leave a comment and like this video, and also hit that subscribe button. Um, it helps me out so, so much.